Hello guys, welcome, welcome to another video. Welcome to another Let's Play. Yes, I am doing quite a lot of Let's Plays at the moment. I'm trying to build them into, um, I will bring out a rotor soon, so we know, and you'll know, when I'm doing and when I'm not. Today, I'm doing this early access game. Um, again, it's another survival series. Um, it reminds me a little bit, I would imagine, of Ark, um, in the sense of, you need to try and get animals to be your friend. And then they they help you um, survive, basically. Um, you've still got the side of a survival game on it. So, I mean, about this game, really, um, it's a sandbox. Um, again, it's a first-person wildlife park animal sanctuary builder game with all the elements of a survival of a game. The story is simple, um, but it's not finished yet, obviously. Um, and I, I believe in the near future, after a series of disasters, massive floods, air poisoning, and generic experiments gone wrong, life on Earth is not the brink of a six mass extinction. Extinction. Most of the remaining humanity lives in several cities scattered around the globe, while the rest roam the land as bandits and scavengers. Along with a team of scientists, you have been entrusted with a task to build and maintain a facility. That aims to gather and preserve many species of animals and plants possible for a future repopulation. The game starts with you locked down in quarantine, recovering from a severe infection. And again, all the animals are severely infected. Just hours after a band of raiders attacked and destroyed your base, left alone with nothing but a small knife, you will have to decide between rebuilding the facility by yourself or just find a way to survive day after day in hope of finding a safe place. So yes, that was the that was just a bit of um, thing about the game itself. I have played it. I, I have got a save game on it. Um, it, it is it is. I quite like it to be honest with you. Um, again, it's on early access at the moment. Um, it is a massive game, and you will see as we go through the journey that this game it is enormous. Um, again, that's why it's, it's a sandbox open game, um, and the terms of it is pot potentially they could add loads of different stuff to it. There's nothing that restricts it, so they won't be rushed. They've already said the people that do this won't be rushed, um, and budget constraints depending on how much money they can put into it. Um, but at the moment, it, it is very, very good. Um, I'm quite. S I'm very surprised to be honest with you it's very good I mean the developer of the game and the publisher is CRIO Studios again the, the gene for this is action adventure indie simulation and again it's on an early access and it is on sale at the moment at the price of 11.24 of me recording this normally it's 14.99 so yes here we go animal liquor or animal liquor however you want to call it um, it sounds a bit weird when you call it animal liquor um, but I think it's animal liker as far as I know. Um, I will take you through the main setting. Obviously, this is the first front page that you'll be presented with. You've got the settings there. Obviously, I think it's an ultra for me. Um, again, depending on how you want to play it and how you can. Again, screen whips, loads of them. All, about, all your standard stuff that you would expect. 1920 by 1080 is the biggest one you can do. Um, so yeah, that's it. Obviously, you'll have the credits here. This is the, obviously the main credits. Again, you don't really, no one really cares about the credits. Um, right, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start. If I get a line, game. then I can take that line, take it to my facility, and after that, I can actually have a line that protects me. Um, so right, we start in this bit here. Again, this is garbage. We can collect that. So we take that. As you can see, that's added it to the right hand side. Um, if you push I you'll get an inventory or you will do eventually there it is there's your inventory there and obviously this is all the stuff that you can make so again like any other survival game you need bits that you collect that go here everything here will be um, on here that it will only see if you can have it if you've got it on here when you're going around you can put stuff in crates now you might have it in the crate but if you haven't got it in the inventory you won't be able to make it simple as that really um, so yeah, let's, let's go have a look. I'll show you the game again. Quite nice. It's very very well done. Again, don't forget this is first um, early access. Let's have a look. See if there's anything in there. Again, this is what's in that that container. So we can see we've got camo top, we've got camo shorts and leather boots. 
we've got a chocolate bar and a cola so we just push that there and that will be put all into our things there we've got some more bricks take them right let's get the bottle of water right so we've got other stuff up here empty taming portion and a protein bar water can't have enough of water banana cola water bit of ham cloth matches tools because we can't build anything without them um, alcohol by the looks of it yeah beer love a beer take that for god's sake this should help thank you it will that we'll take that uh sink on top of that we'll take that there we've got the whole place out old chest yeah we'll take that sink on the floor there Just, oh this is a nice find yeah i think so all right so we follow it around we've got another little bit in here um bricks not a lot else by the looks of it no can't have that um <clears throat> again i don't think there's anything else in here isn't it? oh what's that there nails and bolts we need that to build stuff all right okay oh and then on the ceiling or on the wall so we follow it around with this little bit here that's where we put all the dead bodies you wouldn't want to drop in there would you huh. oh some garbage there some metal scraps oh again again this is our base so this is the bit where it's safe if you want to get out you can exit it here um but we're not going to do that yet because we haven't finished in there again the one good thing about this game is there isn't any loading screens um you'll go in and out of stuff without actually waiting for it to load in um again that that's quite I quite I like that I do like that see you could be close to it and that'd be it and this is our base this is the outside of our base absolutely beautifully done as you can see the music in the background it is beautiful everything about it is absolutely gorgeous um, the music goes really well with it it makes you want to kill yourself um, and it's just basically getting scraps there's a fire in that Extinguish that out, yeah, take the boxes. Uh, loot that you find is random, so let's just let's just say for instance you um, save the game, you come out, you go back in, all the stuff that you, um, so say in here, there's always pallets in here, next time you come in here after a save game there might not be pallets in here, the loot doesn't go to the same place, um, so yeah, that is one thing that you're going to need to remember it is quite different with loot again got to use a pickaxe for that I haven't got a pickaxe I've only got this little thing here at the moment um, so we need to go scavenging because at the moment I don't think we can make a stone pickaxe because we need hardwood rope and sharp stone and we haven't got that at the moment so it is a case of we're going to need to go scavenging so let's see what we can pick up as you can see, it looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Stone, pick up stone. Yeah, that's that. Uh, that needs a pickaxe. There's some other stuff over here. We'll see what this is. And these are the plants. This is where you grow some plants and stuff. Again, you will need it in the game. So you've got natural enrichment there. You need that for the, for the animals. And then you've got some other aloe vera here. Sage, a couple of sages we'll take over there. Um, yeah. And yes, I know any experienced people will realise that this over here is cannabis. It is cannabis. It is part of the medicine that this game uses. And you can't blame it. Again, and then that's, that's another one in there that's got loads of different things as well. Again, like any other game, the more I run, the more, obviously, as you can see down the, the top right-hand side, you'll see that, obviously, quicker I run, that goes down quick. You've got your health, 
you got your energy basically you got your food and you got your water underneath so yeah that is that let me just take you up to the top I'll show you that here it is a good game I've enjoyed it for the time that I've done it and I I liked it so much that I decided that I think it would be best to um, actually do maybe do like a little let's play on it because I love these sort of games and you know these sort of games there's, there's no sort of stopping on them you know they just get as big as they want so we've got a little elevator here so we're going to go up here we're going to push E and then we're going to be lifted up no loading screens nothing there is no loading screens on this game we're going up here to our platform again obviously when you go there you've got better tools and stuff like that um, you become you, you can get animals you know um, the, the more animals you get you tame them and then they, they can you can actually take them back to your lab and you can actually make them um, be your friends so they protect you and there is quite a few in here I will show you that in a minute once I show you and explain what this is up the top here right this is one big walkway this walkway is a walkway to heaven yes it is for you anyway because either side of here you'll see pens this is obviously where you put animals that you fetch and what you find all your animals go in here um, so lions and th there's gorillas th there's loads of different animals that you can actually find tame and produce Again, you can tame them and produce them, like male, female. You can even have some babies and stuff. And you can become quite big and survive. And they actually protect you. As you can see on the left-hand side, if we just jump over here, you can see this house. It is run down. There isn't anyone in it. Oh, my God. I nearly killed myself. That's the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Right. So, yeah, as you can see around here, let's just get between these two fucking rocks and go left. This is one fuck off house, massive house, big old house, but where there's a big house, there's normally something in it, we just got to find it, because I can say that before when I came in here, when I first played it, there was a box of nails there, and there isn't a box of nails now, so, you know, it changes the loot system in this all the time, what was that, press E, got a clock, uh, right, it's the main entrance, let's go up the stairs. Yeah, I mean, it, it changes. The loot changes all the time. Absolutely beautiful when you look at it. Eh? And obviously, this could become your house, you know, you've got to make furniture and stuff like that, so it, it's got a possibility of um, becoming your house. What a lovely place to live, eh? Right. So I don't think there's anything in here by the looks of it. It's not looking like it anyway. So let's just get out of here. Where's the bloody door? There. Right. Let's get back up here. Obviously, one of these games when you go far out, and and because because of the um, the way the game is, it, 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 because it's so vastly massive and very big. Uh, hang on, I don't like that. I don't like the look of. Um, no, I can't go in there now. But normally, that's a better thingy. That's not very good. That I think I've turned the texture. I think I've turned the field of thingy. <laughs> down too much uh, because it's such a vast area and how far you can go um, th the good touch with it is that they put smoke up here so basically you see from a distance you can see where your base is because otherwise it's a nightmare you know sometimes you have trouble trying to find it it's such a big area right right let's go over here Let's climb up here and see if there's anything up here. Alright, let's just let's get on that a bit better than that. Uh, 
that's better. Alright, take that, bit of rope, take that. And obviously that's the, that's out in the wild. You know. And it, 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 it's very fast. Yeah, you can see there's a, there's a reindeer or a moose on the loose over there. Moose on the loose. Da -na 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 -na. Alright, just jump off your silly tart. Right, clip the stone, clip some of the other shit over it. Clip that, right, what can I make? Can I make anything? I can make a stone axe. So we just go, okay, make one of them. That's done that, and that's added it to that. So we will put that there. Um, so that's that. Let's have a look. Barrel and arrow. We'll take that out, because we're going to need that eventually. So we've got ourselves a pickaxe. So basically, you see at the bottom, you've got the numbers one to nought. Um, push number two, it takes it over to a pickaxe. So this is our pickaxe. And now we can obviously start breaking stuff down. Again, you need coal, you need stone, you need gold. Um, clay, again, you need clay as well. So let's let's chop this one down. That's it, and that's given us four iron, seven stone, and ten large stone. So that, that is that. I don't think there was anything in there, was there? I don't think there was nothing, nothing down there. So yeah, once you've got... Once you've got that, and so you've killed an animal, you come back. You come back through the gates here, um, and then you know you, you want you want an animal protector. Well, you go down here. Oh yes, this is where your laboratory is. Not lavatory. I oh, ain't on about a bog. This is where this is, and it's got it's got a little so it knows. Just so you know, you've gone through the door. Do you know what I mean? And it's got these lovely plants here um, that are growing. Again, don't forget, Earth has been infected, so, um, you know, this is the lab, this is basically the uh, cloning facility. Um, let's go and have a look in here. Again, you've got more cloning here where they're trying to start again. Again, no loads. There is no load things in here. You literally just keep going and going and going. It hasn't got any load screens. So, we've got some stuff over here. Get this, because some of this is, you've got a cure pu portion, um, potion, sorry. Mutagen and cure. Right, let's get over it. Du -du 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 -du. Tranquilizers. Again, some of the animals you're never going to kill, so you're going to have to do it by tranquilizing them. There's some up here. That is the other downside to it. It just automatically puts you in it. Right, and this is how would you go? So you go in the medical bag. Pushy. Right, now these are the plants that you can you can get here on the top left. Uh, these are all the plants that you can start doing right now this is the section for the bears you can get a grizzly bear and if you click on the thingy it'll tell you tamed um male cured condition um and to get him you need to find a grizzly bear first one that's infected once you get one that's infected that means that once that's finished and you've killed him you bring him back you come here and you, you do a cure and then obviously a taming portion will tame him to you basically again you've got another one there um female and a male again you've got male and female here in the f so that that's the bears dogs yes there is dogs in here um you've got a greyhound red again same thing you've got taming portion because we've just picked it up and um, that's that one there so we've got that cure you've got a cure portion potion i don't know i keep saying portion potion cure potion um, and then I just need to find a greyhound. Once I've found a greyhound, um, I can actually bring him back and feed him. Again, again with the German Shepherds, you've got a white German Shepherd there. Same thing. It need you need to find one first. So that's that. Foxes, red fox, male and female. Again, same thing. You've got red deers, browns, barks. You've got African elephants that you can actually. If you find an ele elephant, it needs two cures and two taming potions and then you can actually get it outside and you can tame it and it, it, it's, it actually looks after you it's quite cool um, rhinos, I, I didn't know about the rhinos so they've got a big rhino, oh, I've got to have a rhino I don't know where I'd find one but but the problem is you need to kill it first that, 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 that's one of the things you've got to do you've got to kill it, take the spirit, bring it back and then do your one um, and obviously me running around with a little silly army knife isn't going to make a lot of difference um, Gazzlers, you've got that are there, giraffes, you've got giraffes, 
equids and horses that are all down there loads of different horses rabbits you've got rabbits they're not really going to protect you big cats so you've got the tigers you've got african lions you've got a male african lion um cheetahs and you've got cattle buffaloes um you've got even camels you've got here apes so you've got big apes there as well uh, so yeah th there is a lot and obviously don't forget this is on early access so um there's going to be a lot more uh, so you know wait for the sound wait for the sound ready you have entered the outside please stay safe and remind you yeah, please say thank you right let's go up here and see if there's anything up here not a bloody lot by the looks of it oh nails and bolts need that nothing in the safe again you've got options to put stuff um in crates and stuff like that because obviously your inventory does go quite quick so yeah so that's that's basically your base um, again the base is much bigger than what I'm showing you um, I won't show you everything at the moment because it would take too long right again you can do arrows by holding the left mouse button and aiming it where you want or right click to get rid of it so let's go outside in the world 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 E to open the gate E to close it bit of rope there again it's a little tip it's always good to see if you've got enough space before you leave because obviously you'll be picking up a lot of stuff on the way um, and obviously um, you've got to make sure you can actually put it in your inventory to be honest so yeah this is it ladies and gentlemen this is the open world beyond the gates anything happens over here anything But we're gonna go this side of it again as you can see at the top right there our bar is very 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 low um, the reason behind that is we need to drink we need to fill up the bottle again you've got to be careful on what you eat and what you drink here because if it's contaminated obviously um, you're gonna have a bit of an issue and you'll be sick and stuff like that again you can see that deer or moose or whatever it is there I'm not sure if you can see that, but where the, the actual cursor is there, that's another bad animal as you can see there. Um, yeah, he, he's over he's over there, but I need to get water because we haven't got a lot of water left here. So let's just run straight over to the fountain that I know I can use. Have I got any bottles? Yeah, I've got, is that? Oh, hang on. So if you want to use something, just put it in your inventory there. You just click and drag it over. Push number four. That's all right. That's, that's enough. I, I didn't think we had enough, but we had. So that's it. And then you can just literally click it back up and then put it back again. We need a bit of ham. So we click that there. Take it out of this. Push number four. We're on four anyway. Eat it up. And that brings all our life back up. Push I for inventory, click on that, put that back, push I again, you come out of it. Push free to get your barrel arrow and your job is a good one. Right, let's go and see him, shall we? Let's go and see him. He wants us to see him, so we might as well go and see him. see it go down here I'm gonna try and I'm trying to bow arrow it well I'm gonna try anyway no it's gone some of them are so hard to get hold of all right yeah I put this the view on this um, normally better than this but I've changed the settings and I think I've done it a bit wrong so yeah, this is obviously the main bit, the main strip to where the house is. 
and obviously where our base is. So, oh, there's a dead one here. Press E to loot. That's given us raw meat, animal hide, and animal fat. Again, it's not just that. You can get um, plants and everything that's lying around when it comes up to there is um, plants to collect you need certain plants to actually do something so again there's a boat there, there's a sand sharp sand stone there, we need one of them and obviously this fella is over there at the moment but we will get to him again it's very beautifully for, for one that's actually just started it's very very beautiful right it looks nice as well you know right let's get over here I know he's gonna start straight away then this flower here can be picked up no it can't I lied what do I know about the game eh? right so let's just go ahead quickly Have one of them up, right, and now you'll see one of the animals. These ones are pretty easy to kill, um, but they will still give a good fight up. There he is, there. See, killed him. They are they're quite easy to kill. These ones, um, no idea what that is, something to do with him. But as you can see, they're like a little hog. And you just click here, and then you've got a mu mutated DNA sample. Push E to collect. Sometimes there's two of them, sometimes there's only one of them. If you don't get rid of this, it stays. So, it's sometimes best to try and get rid of it if you can. Try and get rid of that quickly. So that's, that's gone. So obviously they won't respawn back now because I've, I've broken the bit where they come from. Um, again, that doesn't always mean that that's going to be the case when you save the game and you load the game back up. That could be completely different. It might respawn here. It may even respawn over there. Um, as you can see, that's where our base is. You can see the two bits coming up here. Um, so yeah, let's just carry on along here quickly. The wheel, nothing interesting here. I'll pick them up. I don't really, I think, yeah, they're stone. I'll pick some of them up while we're here. The inventory's getting full, but we've got enough little time to do this. Cool. That's giving us 46 large stone and 11 gold ore. Let's do that one as well. Again, there is cycles of day and night on here. Again, you'd imagine night is going to be a bit harder than day. Um, not just due to the fact they put more stuff out at night. It's just a case it's harder. You can't see nothing. Um, but you've got the moonlight. All right, that's giving us enough stuff. As you can see on the right hand side, if I try and get in a bit of a darker place, there you go. You can see the time, so it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. Um, yeah, let's have a look what's here first. I'm going to get back to base and see what we can actually make. What's that? Empty water bottles, I'll take the empty ones. Anything else? Yeah, some food. And what's that? A bag. So the bag had paper, matches, rope, meat, and water. That is good. 
There's a little stone there. All right, so it's five o'clock. Um, let's just walk along here, and then we'll go. We'll head back. Oh, some rope there. We we'll take that because I need the rope. Anything else anywhere lying around? Can't see anything at the moment. So you've got another place over there as well. Um, and this isn't it. Um, you've got other other places in the world. You know, this is just one little area. Everything else, all the ocean's gone and taken it. Um, so this is one little area. Well, I say little, it's quite a big area actually. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot more. There is a lot more. But yeah, so this episode I just wanted to show you around. Um, so you get a bit of an understanding. You can see now it's getting darker. Um, I want to try and get back home. So let's do that, shall we? Let's get home. The butterflies, beautiful. And if you're wondering, yes, you can go underwater as well. It is all fully done. Um, and then butterflies there and then plants there. So if I want to go underwater, I will just go in there. Is there's a full underwater experience. But I will leave that for another day. So yeah, let's just go up the, the middle bit of this. And then to the left is where the entrance is to the base. But... We're not going to go there at the moment. What we're going to do is we're going to go this way. So let's go along here. Up, up the stairs to this side. And here we are. Stone outside waiting. Cool. That's it, we're home. Let's have a look to see what we can build. If we can build anything, I'm not sure we can. So you've got, right, let's go for the list of this before we finish off, just so you get an understanding. So the weapon side of it at the moment, you've got these. You've got a bow, stone spear, arrow, tranquilizer, arrow, iron spear, and bone club. Tools, you've got a stone axe, a stone pixel, a torch, and a scavenger's axe. Again, you can do a wooden box. A wooden box you would do um, if you want to put some of your stuff in it. You might be somewhere else in, let's just say, for instance, another house or in another part of the world. Now, if you're in a part, another part of the world, you obviously need another box, you need storage, and that's where that can go. You've got rustic chairs, um, benches, small tables. You've got a, a primary um, wooden bed, and you've got another one, different size ones. You've got fences to keep the animals in, if need be. Uh, miscellaneous, you've got a single fire. Uh, ritual fire, a trailer marker, small spikes, large spikes, and a sleeping bag. Craft station, you've got campfire, two different sort of sections of that. You've got a basic um, workshop that I will need. I just need to try and see if I can um, get it. I need a tool set 2.1, and then I'll be able to do that. And we'll, we'll, be, we'll be able to build one, and we need some logs. Uh, consumables, bandage, healing, and shelters you've got here as well. Um, again, when you open the, the um, basic workshop, what that does, that opens actually up another menu where you can build extra stuff like log cabins. You could build your own home for scratch if you want to. Go out hunting and try and see if you can actually um, find the animals, bring them back, tame them so that they stay with you. Again, it is a survival game. It is aspect of a survival game. Um, it is. I, I like it. it. It's a very, very interacting survival game, um, and it's got a lot of potential. And it is massive. So yeah, that was just basically a quick understanding of the game, and just a quick look around the base. So starting off, that's what I'm going to call this one. Starting off, looking around the base. That's basically all it is, guys. Until next time, guys, I will be doing more on this. Obviously, the next stage, I will hopefully be out on Sunday. Um, that's Sunday the 3rd, if you're watching this in the other time. So, the next day after this video. 
um, it'd be number two, and that'd be exploring the world, a bit more exploring. I'll show you a bit more around other different worlds. I don't really want to go too much in other worlds, just due to the fact I haven't got the defense weapons to try and stop an, an actual tiger coming to me. Again, as you can see, it's half past six in the game. Um, it is getting darker, and the clouds are becoming over. Again, there is a full weather cycle in this game as well as long as the visuals so it will go dark and when it goes dark it is dark um, again you can see by that tree over there you have got the wind even with this one here you see the wind picks up and the wind noise and everything it's beautiful beautiful it's so nice it makes me cry sometimes um so yeah that is that is it guys it's getting windy here it is actually getting quite overcast the sun is going down on another day in another world. Until next time, guys, I shall see you when I see you. Thanks a lot, and as always, guys, stay safe.